Hey, bitch! Um, to like a full extent. Except for the other day. 
Right. So he did show some aggression towards one dog the other day, which sort of freaked me out a little bit. Um, and so we are going to actually go and see if near where her appointment is, after her appointment, we're going to see if there's any like dog parks in the area where we can stand outside the dog park, outside the fence, and just kind of work on Toby, you know, standing outside the fence and him working near other dogs. Other and adult dogs. Because see, part of the issue is we were training around puppies, and that's great and all. But, like, during a pandemic, it's really hard to get around adult dogs, so... Normally, I would train... Normally, I would train him in the facility that I work at, where we have a classroom full of adult dogs that we, you know, use for training all the time. Um, but, you know, because of the pandemic, my facility currently is not doing classes, so... So that's what we're kind of going to work on today and then we might go somewhere else to work on some of our other stuff on the to-do list because we've got a couple things on the to-do list that I would really like to work on as well because I feel like dog reactivity, yes, that is our number one, uh, that is our number one kind of priority right now. But I also want to be 100% sure that his other stuff is getting worked on because he does tend to burn out easily if you work on something for too long. So Arlo has... Arlo has a little bit more stamina where like if you do something for like a long enough period of time he'll just figure it out and he'll just do it over and over and over and over and over forever. Toby, if you do something for long enough, he gets like frustrated, like he doesn't want to do it anymore. He's well, like, if well, it's, what if the heck? It's some, especially if it's something that he doesn't really understand or want to do, if that makes sense. Like, like sometimes he can keep going with things he knows, but like when you try to do something new or just challenging, sometimes he works out quicker. Right, so we are going to hopefully get a chance to do some of that stuff uh, today as well. Uh, my toe. Is there anything else you want to say? My toe.
So we finished the appointment and what did he say? Basically he had no answers for the pain right here. It's muscle so there's not a lot I can do I guess other than try to compress it and try to fuck around with it. Um, which I think, I think people have given me that answer previously which isn't helpful because it still hurts. Um, and then- And you've used warm compresses and they haven't helped? Mm -hmm. They haven't helped. So why didn't you say that? Because I'm dumb. I don't know. Um, so basically, I yeah, dude, wait for me, bitch. Thank you. Um, so savage. not you, huh? I said savage. savage. Basically, he said that if I still have leftover sinus infection after the last course of antibiotics, that he may want to do surgery, which is great. That's kind of what we were expecting. So, oh, that's what you were expecting. I don't think I was expecting. All right, that. I was expecting that. So, um, Toby Place. See, he'll. I figure he'll learn about gravity anyways, but he never has. So, um, yeah, and this I, is gonna be a little bit of a line. So, just letting you know. So, I hope you know. Basically, the uh, you know the deal is is that. If she's getting continuous sinus infections, it could be because some of her nasal passages are like too small, basically, and they're getting the infection stuck and then it's not leaving. So, um, what they would do is they would cut that extra, they would cut that extra tissue that's there closing the sinus passages open a little bit. And, um, it would be pretty, a pretty simple surgery. So, um, you made it seem like it wasn't that big of a deal. So, so basically the plan now is to get some food and then we're gonna go to uh, this little pet store that's over here and then, then we're, we're gonna, gonna go to a, a dog park. Yep, so that's the plan. <laughs>
So we are at um, Plato's Closet again. Um, Brielle is still looking for Brielle's still looking for this sweater um, that she wants. Um, and then I think we're gonna head home. She wants to stop at Bentley's, but I have a my I think I'm getting a headache, and I'm just not feeling the best. So um, I think I'm gonna just tell her that we're gonna head home. Or we're gonna try. It looks like the interstate's pretty backed up. Um, then I have an exam tonight. I really have to get done. So, yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna follow up when I get home, but I guess I'll say it. Uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Hello. What up, you motherfuckers? So I don't know what the last thing she told you was. I wasn't in the car. Okay, so we trained outside of the dog park We um, for a pretty long time. Then we went to- There's a pet smart up here. Then we went to the um, Plato's closet and I looked in there. I didn't find what I was looking for. Um, and then we went to, I had to go to the bathroom. And then we went to Bentley's Pet Stuff, which is this little pet store. And now we are basically heading home. Which there wasn't really a ton of stuff in there, but they did have a raw bar, so. Yeah, they had a raw bar, which was nice. You don't need to stop at PetSmart for anything? No. Okay, good. Just making sure. So, now we're just kind of heading home. How do you feel like today went? Good. Do you feel like today went good? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Okay, Light, you can change any time. <laughs> any time. Morgan and I trained at that one Menards over there. Do you want to say anything else in the vlog? Um, by the time I get home, I'm gonna feel like shit. That's an accurate statement. All right. Yeah, so are we closing out the vlog or are we just- I thought so. Oh, okay, well, yeah, today was fun and um, now I have content, so thanks for watching. <laughs>